Hey everyone, here's a quick tutorial on how to make your taskbar transparent on your Windows PC. This is going to work for both Windows 10 and 11, so let me show you how it's done. Alright, as you can see right now, my taskbar is just the default, nothing special about it. First thing we're going to do is go down to the search, which should be on your taskbar, and just look up Microsoft Store. It's going to be right here. Next, you want to go to the top where the search bar is and type in translucent. TB. It should appear here in the suggested results. It's this uh, blue and green TB logo right here. You want to click on that and then we'll just click install. This is a very simple lightweight software that just runs in the background. It's totally free and uh, you kind of just forget you even have it and it's going to make your test bar transparent. So once it's done downloading after a couple seconds, you click on open right here and you'll get a greeting message. Uh, you kind of can just ignore this stuff. Let's go ahead and click continue. It tells you that it puts it down into the system tray, as you can see down here. So it's tucked away where all these other softwares usually end up. And uh, I don't know if you noticed already, but the taskbar is transparent. I'll even change my wallpaper real quick to demonstrate it better. All right, there you go. Now you can definitely tell that it's completely transparent. One extra detail I'll throw in is if you want to hide the taskbar and make it more like Mac OS, where the taskbar is just translucent and it pops up when you need it, you can go ahead and right click down here and go to taskbar settings, which will look like this. And if you scroll down to taskbar behaviors, there's going to be a checkbox here to automatically hide the taskbar. And there we go. Now the taskbar is totally out of sight. I'm going to move my mouse down here. It pops up and it remains translucent from that app running in the background. That's it, guys. I hope this video helped you out. Subscribe for more useful and easy tutorials, and I'll see you in the next one.